Welcome to Always Believe. Ashley and I are going to be unboxing the items you sent to our P.O. Box, and we're also going to talk about Comic-Con. <laughs> Stay tuned for another fun episode. Pew 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 Finger guns, everybody! Pew 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 pew! Hey, you dirt feeder. I mean, dirt feeder. <laughs> Welcome to Always Believe. We aren't at Comic Con, if you could tell, but we're still going to have fun today. Join us, or I will discover the secrets myself. Towards the end, you sounded more like Kylo Ren. In the beginning, uh, you sound like Darth Vader. Can I do a take two? Yeah, do it again. Do oh, okay. Again. Pretend like you're real mad okay, at real your mad father. At my father. No fake British accent. Okay. Go. I am nothing like my father. <laughs> Was that better? That was was really that good. better? Do you, do you think I had the right motivation there? Should I do it again? <laughs> the finger point. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Okay. Tell me when. Tell me when action. Go. go. You gotta say action. Oh, action. Welcome to Always Believe. No, Mike. you're being Darth Vader again. Oh, I am being Darth Vader. No, you're Kylo Ren. <laughs> Ready, set, go. Welcome to Always Believe. We're gonna open some of your some of your packages today. <laughs> and that's it. You better stay to the end of the video. We're gonna be very angry with you. <laughs> Was that okay? Do you yeah. want to try one? Hmm. Comic Con is over! No, you're still holding on! Let go! Like I that? felt it! I felt <laughs> that! I f is it good? That was really good. <laughs> that, you okay? that was really good. I got a little scared. Did I yell too loud? I'm sorry. That's the only line I really like. You're still holding on! You're still holding Let go! <laughs> well, guys, as you can tell, we aren't really at Comic Con right now. We're hanging out at home again. You guys are hanging out with us again. Our flight crew, and we're happy you guys are here hanging out and playing and yeah. being silly tonight with us again. Yeah, so we're just going to be hanging out. We have a P.O. Box unboxing for you mm -hmm. guys. You guys sent in so much stuff. Yeah. Like, we were like, whoa! <laughs> it's like Christmas today. Yay. Um We figured today would be a good day to do the unboxing because we're missing out on Comic Con. We are a little bit blue. You're a little red, actually. I'm a little red. <laughs> <laughs> and so we Bad thought we, <laughs> we're gonna do a little bit of chatting about Comic Con because um, there was Comic Con at home. We really haven't dove into any of the updates because we've just yeah. been like kind of working all day. Did we buy anything this year? So the one thing we did purchase this year, which was an exclusive, because honestly we don't really go to Comic Con to buy exclusives. It's Not never been our thing. I don't want to wake up at 4 a.m. and wait in line <laughs> for a pop toy. I'm sorry. I just I'm not doing it. <laughs> Usually we would go to hang out and dress up and have fun and socialize with everybody. There was one thing we picked up this year and that is a Shag exclusive Star Wars shirt. Shag is a really famous tiki pop artist. Geeky Tiki's who we visited last year, they did an exclusive Shag shirt. So that's like the one thing we got. Yeah, we even debated that a little bit and then you were like, hey, check out this shirt. <laughs> we told ourselves, we're like, we're not gonna buy anything from Comic-Con this year. We've already spent a ton of money being in quarantine. Yeah. I mean, I have things still to unbox that I bought. I bought this dress. We bought a lot of things. I like the dress. You like the dress? I like the Darth I Vader know, dress. Like it's it really too. cool. How was your cosplay experience going to Comic-Con for the first year? Because that's what yeah. we both basically went to Comic-Con for. Yeah, we both like cosplaying yeah. there. So the first year I went was really fun. I did um, Suicide Squad Prison Harley Ooh. first the first day and then the second day I did Daenerys. I went and got to like kind of cut in line for the Shadow of War <laughs> dragon prop because it was like a big dragon you could ride on um, and there was like a photo opportunity and it was like an hour long line and then like the people working there were like Daenerys, you go in the front. Get in the front. <laughs> <laughs> and then it was like, it was a lot of pressure, like getting on the dragon and like everybody's looking at you. Well, how did it feel though being on a dragon? I mean, like, I felt right. It felt really right. It felt right. right. <laughs> What's your best memory of that? I've always enjoyed the most was, well, the first year I went to Comic Con, I dressed as Anakin because that was my first costume. And I had gone to very small conventions leading up to that in my local area, but I'd never been to something like Comic Con. And mm -hmm. that was actually my first trip to California, too. Was going to Comic Con? Yeah. Yeah, I was going to Comic Con. I oh, think it was 2006. Oh my um, gosh. And I dressed as Anakin Skywalker from episode three, and I was just like mobbed by people at the convention. <laughs> They're like, Hayden! It's Hayden! <laughs> I was getting like groups of people like taking photos of me, and I was just like, I mean, it went to my head a little bit because I was like, this is crazy. I've never had this many people like give me this much attention and be like, can I take a photo with you? Can I take a photo with you? And it was it was fun mostly because I was giving people like that yeah. feeling of being that character. That's the fun. 
fun thing about cosplaying is that it really is an ego boost. Yeah. It is a huge ego boost. Especially for people in this community, because there's a lot of people, like myself even at the time, like very socially awkward still maybe. Oh yeah. Just not knowing how to really have a really good conversation with people yet. And dressing up, I've always found, has been beneficial and it's a great thing to do. And that's why we tell people to do it when you go to but two. Mm -hmm. It's an easy way to put yourself into a position where you feel a little uncomfortable and then through that you start to go I don't care anymore yeah because then people come up to you and they're like oh you look so awesome you look so cool mm -hmm. you, you start to feel good and you start to realize like it doesn't matter it it's a quick reinforcement for like kind of stepping outside your comfort zone yeah so like you step outside your comfort zone somebody acknowledges it you get a quick reinforcement and then you're like cool I can step out my comfort zone a little bit more and yeah. I can do it a little bit more so like that's how reinforcement works yeah. is Reinforcement increases the likelihood of that behavior happening again in the future. So you are more likely to step outside your box, aka talk to people, start conversations. Cooper. No! Stop. Cooper's scratching at some of the packages. Already on the packages. Because we are such avid cosplayers, we can't go do the exclusive shopping. You would spend all those days at Comic Con and you get to the last day on Sunday and go, oh my gosh. I really did not look at anything at the convention. Uh, but that was the fun part, was like, we would dress up all those days, then Sunday, yeah. wear our street clothes, which felt really weird walking in flat shoes, mm -hmm. and go and like hit the floors and shop. I remember that first year we went together, I bought so much stuff. You know, I don't really go for the exclusive items, because it's just too much pressure and it's too much work, yeah. but I like going and, and hey, too much money. I like going in Artist Alley, I like finding some like unique pieces, yeah. like things you won't find at like your mall. So I like to buy a lot of art. That's how we like roll at Comic Con. Insert Brian's plug. Okay. I'm, just, I'm just announcing like this. Insert yeah, no, Brian's plug. Yeah, I mean, if you guys want to see what it's like <laughs> being at Comic Con with us, we have two awesome videos we did at Comic Con last year. Where we were basically searching for all the Star Wars things that were at the convention. Like, oh, that was actually a really good idea. Yeah, like course. nobody had done something like that before. So we were like, let's just go look for everything Star Wars at the convention. That was actually a really fun day because we found like there was there's only like a small niche of like Star Wars. Yeah. And that's like the hub of like, here's all the Star Wars stuff. But if you go out, you can find like, here's a little bit of Star Wars, here's yeah. a little bit of Star Wars. But then we also ended up being stuck at the Star Wars Stein. Yeah, that was like, cool. Like we sign went though. as Han and Leia and we were stuck there for like three hours because there was just people like pictures, 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 pictures. We were just trying to film like our intro for our video. That's all we wanted to do. We just got stopped there and we we're taking photos oh, all day. But then like every time I was like, okay, okay, we're done there would be like a child. Yeah. <laughs> I was that, like, no, we can't leave. It's the best part. But the great thing was like Star Wars that year took a picture of us. Like somebody that was working for the Star Wars Instagram caught a photo of us and then they posted it yeah. on their Insta Instagram. And it was like really cool because we had kind of just started our channel, yeah. but already a lot of like fly crew members were like, that's Ash and Brian in yeah. the comments. <laughs> And it was cool because they didn't take any other cosplay photos that entire Comic Con. It was they've just never, us as Han they've and Leia. never yeah. done cosplay photos ever yeah. before that. My DMs were blowing up with people being like, Star Wars has never done this before. <laughs> and that was like really special. It was my first time cosplaying as Leia, and I was just like, I bought this costume at Galaxy's Edge, and I just felt like I didn't really look like her. I was really anxious. But about I love you doing for, for wearing that with me because yeah. I love wearing a new Hope Han solo and I was like, you look great. You look great as Princess Leia. Like just have come, come play, come have fun. I prefer the dark side. The dark side. You you're Kira? <laughs> you're talking about Kira? <laughs> yes, that's Day why two. I put the red cape on. You like okay, my sorry. dress? I do love your dress. I wanted to get dressed up tonight. Oh, you look so good. I, Ashley is Darth Vader tonight, so I was gonna just do my Kylo Ren as much as I could. Um, <laughs> as much as I could. As <laughs> much as I could, I don't feel as <laughs> adequate as she does right now. <laughs> we're gonna do this video, and then we're gonna like catch up on all the Comic-Con stuff. One thing I did see that was kind of cool was Galaxy's Edge announced mm. two new books. Oh, okay. Um, so there is, I think it's like Myths and Fables. Okay. And then the art of Galaxy's Edge. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah, so I posted that on our story today. I would pick those up. Make sure I got it right. Yeah, honestly, usually the area we really would hang out in a lot is like the Star Wars Lucasfilm booth area. Like, that's what we did last year. Ah, it would have been cool to be like, <gasps> Galaxy's Edge stuff! No. And gotten like so excited, but but I'm excited. I think the myths and fables, myths and legends, wait, let me make sure. 
Okay, myth. I got right the first time. Myths and fables. Myths and fables. Harry Potter came out with like, it's like nursery rhymes. <laughs> if you lived in the Harry Potter world, okay. and you grew up as a witch or wizard, okay. you have your own like nursery rhymes. You oh. have your own fairy tales. Just like in Galaxy's Edge, if you grow up in the realm of Star Wars, oh. you have your own myths and fables, your own. So these are in-world stories. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. So I was like, all right, that sounds pretty dope. And then the art of Galaxy's Edge, book is also coming out. Target just came out with that Guide to Galaxy's mm -hmm. Edge book as well. So fortunately everything's shut down right now because it looked like they were really trying to expand the lore yeah. and the storytelling and the playing aspect of Galaxy's Edge. And I just want them to reference Galaxy's Edge in a show or movie. Oh they did, they did in Solo, Black Spire. Barely! For a split second. Barely! Yeah. Lando's walking on the platform as they're going to check out the Falcon and he mentions the Black Spire. Barely! That's not in it. That doesn't count. We really thought they were going to show it in Rise of Skywalker. Walker. I really did. They should have. They, they missed the opportunity with that. I, I truly did. My heart was set on it. <laughs> <laughs> Come so, on, Star Wars. Well, Star Wars isn't having another movie for a while. I know. That was actually one of the pieces of news they were saying is that they were delaying the Star Wars films, which I, I, there's nothing really said about them yet except that they're supposed to be coming out by like 2025, 2022, the mid-20s in the next couple of years. Well, you'll be able to take your firstborn child to a Star Wars movie. That will be awesome. I don't know. <laughs> we don't know. That's they won't remember it. <laughs> <laughs> They'll be like two, one. Daddy loves these things. <laughs> Speaking of which, but you've been buying a lot of Star Wars things for like future family things. Yeah, we've just been putting them aside. <laughs> so honestly, like, yeah, we've bought Baby Yoda, like onesie. We bought an Ewok. An Ewok and onesie. I, I found this online the other day. And <laughs> again, I buy anything from the movie Solo, but... They put out plush dice like people used to hang in their car back in the day. I wanted to buy them mostly because I wanted to put them in like a baby crib. It's oh like my little God. little stuffed animals you, for them to play with. You you <laughs> didn't even tell me you bought these and then you got them. Yeah. And then I was like, why would you buy stuffed dice? Like what are you gonna do with them? And you're like, it's for a future baby. Maybe, future baby. Maybe. <laughs> I was like, okay, you're you're past. <laughs> so if we did go to Comic Con this year, what would you have wanted to dress up? As? Um, I would have wanted to wear my Rise of Skywalker Ray. Yeah. Because I I haven't worn it to a con yet. I've only worn it to the movie. I probably would have wanted to do Anakin with you as well yeah. too. Yeah. I yeah. Mean, we just... would have just fought over the lightsaber the whole time. <laughs> so like, well, it would have been like again like preparing for celebration, which is next month yeah. as well. <laughs> oh, don't even talk about. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even talk about me. No, I'm I'm actually really sad about yeah, it. This yeah. is gonna be my first celebration, and I'm really, really bummed out about it. I wanted to put Wonder Woman together. Mm -hmm. Like I probably would have put like more effort into actually making it happen. Yeah. If like we had. You know, if this like outbreak hadn't happened. I really wanted to pull together my Birds of Prey Harley Quinn. Um, I had like a, a wig being custom made for me and I had like all the pieces together still, but. I don't want to say it, but like I'm kind of happy we didn't have to go to Comic-Con this year really? because it's so much stress every year, like putting together your costumes and like the time yeah. for doing that anymore has been depleted because of, yeah. well, we're filming, we're making vlogs all the time. Like that creative time that we would have put towards making costumes, like we're making oh vlogs. Oh my gosh, that's true. Yeah. That's true. And it gets expensive. Too. Yeah. Cosplaying is expensive. I don't know. I was really relieved at first, but now that the day has come, I'm kind of bummed. We're happy that we're just here with you guys, our flight crew, hanging out today because that's what Comic Con is really about. It's just like socializing, meeting friends, talking just, about things you love. It's a safe um, place. It's a safe place for you to just express your passions to the fullest. And like, where are we saying, like, be passionate about what you're passionate about. Like, don't let anybody tell you different. If you like something, like it. And like, Comic Con was that place yeah. where you could fully. Really express like yourself it. really like like it. if anything people would just look at you and go wow that person is awesome look how passionate they are about their fandom look at that costume they made yeah it, that's the stuff that i think i'm gonna miss the most it's like it just discovering that level of creativity and passion that people have that you're like wow they're on a different level than me and i really mm -hmm. really admire that i liked our first year together we went as uh that's when we wore hook cosplays and like some people would stop us be like oh <gasps> Look, oh my gosh! And then there was actually a Rufio cosplayer yeah. that was, we found. We always run into a couple of Rufios. There's always a few, but they're I'm never really Tink and Peter. I'm shocked that there's like there's a couple of Rufios. It yeah. seems like such a rare cosplay. Rufio to see. gets more attention than Peter and Tink. I know, too. but it was cool when we 
we found something, we got to take a picture together. And that same year was also the first year we did our solo costumes. Oh, uh, we did the Falcon. We did the Falcon. We actually just put up that video a couple, like a month or two ago, mm -hmm. of us going on the Millennium Falcon from Solo, the Solo edition. So basically, fans built like this replica of this Solo Millennium Falcon, the pristine Lando edition. Mm -hmm. And they had it at the booth. It was like touring around the country for a while promoting the movie and we got really lucky again we kind of did the thing Ashley did where we were able to cut in front of the line because you somebody... had to be there like early in the morning to get your reservation and yeah and we knew somebody and they're like oh come here come here we're... Yeah. you guys have to go on this so we got really, really nice. fortunate that was really nice but yeah. I mean we worked really hard on those costumes too so yeah that was a great way to celebrate that year because we had done the solo event and then we finally went to comic-con together mm -hmm. and then we got to go on that and that was the coolest thing in the world that was until going to Galaxy's Edge that was the epitome of Star Wars cool. So even though we don't shop and do exclusives at Comic-Con, we still pick up a few things here and there, and we really value those fun things that we explore and find throughout the day. Yeah, so, that's true. Since we can't do that this year, we're very happy that we have a lot of fun mail from our flight crew that we get to open. This is our first time, it's like yeah. Christmas. Like, we've had this, like, pile of packages for, like, the last week, so yeah. this is really exciting. This is just some of the, the mail that we got. I'd gotten a few notices, and then I was like, I'll go in a few days. <laughs> and there was so much stuff, yeah, I was blown away. So, so nice. We were really excited to open this. This is really, right like, now. cheering us up on our, like, not going yeah. to Comic-Con weekend. Okay, so, that's nice. We got a little Funko Pop postcard. It says, stay safe, stay positive, stay wonderful, Joel the Geek. Aww. That's really nice. That's so sweet. Like, it's a little Funko Pop. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> that's fun. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Joel. And we have another letter. Ooh. The force is strong with this Ooh. one. We got a Darth Vader card. That's fun. A what? Is <laughs> it Starbucks gift yes. card? Yes, thank you. Um, Dear Ash and Brian, I just wanted to drop you a card to let you know how much I enjoy your videos, especially now during the pandemic. I know we don't know each other, but I feel like we're friends, and your videos are always so positive and fun. I appreciate you speaking about mental health as well as I can relate and doesn't and doesn't make me feel so alone to know that you guys are so cool and I don't feel as ashamed about it. Stay safe and healthy. Thank you again. Always believe Tom. Yes, I don't really think it's a good idea to go to Disneyland. I hope you'll wait a bit. <laughs> Thank you so much, Tom. Thank you, Tom. Tom, I love the card. The card's amazing. I love that cards, um, and I've been doing this too, are now taped down instead of licked down. Yeah. So I uh, I appreciate the res that same oh it's true that same tapage because <laughs> it's a little bit dangerous to lick an envelope right now. Oh my Ooh. gosh, that's so cool! <gasps> I don't think it's so cool. It's Why is Chin Center on the card? <laughs> yes, yes. Oh my god, I need to frame this. That's awesome. That's, that's a beautiful piece so of artwork. That's so cool. Hey, Ash and Brian. My name's Jim, and I absolutely love your videos and enthusiasm for cosplaying, bounding, and playing Star Wars. Jen Erso is my favorite character in all of Star Wars, so naturally, she's also the character I cosplay. I'm now putting together a Jin inspired bound, though, for my next Galaxy's Edge trip using the tips and tricks you both have shared. Your videos bring me so much joy, and I'm so grateful for the hard work that you both put into creating such fabulous content. I can't wait to see what you have in store for our channel in the future. Always play, always believe, Jim. Oh my Aww. gosh. Thank you, Jim. That's so cool. Yeah. I can't uh, wait to see your outfit too. Oh my gosh, this is such a great card. That's a really cool card. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Jim. Yay. Ooh, typed and everything. Ooh, nice <gasps> it's a sticker. Ooh. Uh, hey, always believe. I'm glad you're staying home and not risking COVID-19. Mm -hmm. I know it's hard seeing how much you both like going to bot too, but you're making the right call playing it safe. Included with this letter is a Black Spire Outpost Country of Origin mm, sticker to let right, you know. You're right, BSO. Good job. That you're, to let you know where you're from. A few years ago for Halloween, I wanted to make a punk Star Wars jacket and dress as a kid on the fringe of the Star Wars society. Unfortunately, no one was making some of the patches I wanted to finish my look, so I had a bunch made. People like weird, subtle Star Wars universe stuff, too. Yes! This sticker is my latest project I wanted for myself, and again, I'm selling off the extras. I hope you'll enjoy as much as I do. Tilda Spires, Christian, uh, Punk Rebel Scum. How fun is that? Where are we gonna put this sticker? I don't know. On one of our notebooks, maybe. I always put them on my... You always slap them on a notebook. Yeah. We have a notebook problem. Yeah. Both you and I. <laughs> I always have ideas and I just have to write them down somewhere before I forget them. Oh my... That's so cool. Thank you, Christian. Thank you. They brought like scissors or something. Or your I knife. My, I have my knife here Where's somewhere. your blade? Safety first. <laughs> <laughs> Cannot open it. It looks shiny. Ooh. Ooh. Is 
this what I think it is? Oh, this is from our friend Vera. Yes! Wow. Yes! You want to show this off? Oh my gosh. I packed too fast and forgot Goober's bandana. Oh, oh no, no. <gasps> Wait, oh, so this might be... Oh, we opened a second package. We opened So we opened Goober's order. first. <gasps> Goober, come here. Goober, don't, He's don't walk away. away. Hold on. <laughs> Goober, come here. Now, being on camera, Goober doesn't love. But... <laughs> oh. Yay, you look so nice. Say thank you, Vera. You look so good. <laughs> you don't you won't want to be on camera. Okay. <laughs> so it says Cooper at the bottom and it says may the force be with you in Arabic. He is so crazy happy right now. He's so happy right he's now. He's so happy. Song. He knew he's been sniffing all of these packages and he's like, there is one for me. I have a present. You like your new bandana, Goober? Oh my gosh, he's the happiest cat. You were so happy. Slow blink means I love you. Oh. Slow blink. Thank you, Vera. Thank you. He's so... You look so awesome, Goober. It's so cute on you. You look so nice. Green is definitely <laughs> your color, dude. It looks good. So this next piece is really cute. It's the Mandalorian with Baby Yoda, like E.T. style, on the front of his bike. <gasps> no! I think this is from Colin, Ashley, and Jeremy. Sweet. Super sweet family. Yeah, ah. they, they told us they were gonna send us some gifts, and I think this is one of them. This oh my gosh, how funny. This is one that Goober's been rolling his face on. I think this is also from Colin, Ashley, and Jeremy. Oh my gosh, you're like, I think it's a rolling pin. It is <laughs> a rolling pin. How did you guess this? Oh my gosh. Wow. Ah. It would like leave an imprint probably on the dough when you do it. <laughs> That's like my immediate instinct to do with Just it. Just whack me with it. No, I chase you the... around like on Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah. <laughs> I love getting fun decor, like Star Wars themed stuff too for our kitchen. Oh, our, star our kitchen has so oh, much wow. Star Wars stuff in it. Ooh, there's this us. This is so fun. Right there. And there's, there's Goober. That's in, his, so... in his Yoda costume. Gosh, I'm gonna have to like make cookies or something. I'll give you a back massage. Love it. Oh, that's a good massage. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> this is see, this is the kind of thing we would have probably found at Comic Con oh this year and picked up. We would have totally bought this. Yeah, I would have totally bought that too. Thank you so Thank much. you guys very much. This of is course. so much fun. Oh, so these. Oh yay! So this one is the Mandalorian version, and then. She also sent a mid-century modern version. Yeah, so and that's so cool. It's supposed to be uh, Beskar. It's got the Always Believe logo on it, and it's magnetic, so we can wear these uh, like a little flight crew badge. That is so stinking cool. I love this. This is awesome. You actually made us like our own custom we have merchandise. Our own Beskar. This is super cool. I love the colors that you chose to do too for the mid-century design. This is the kind of stuff that we love about our flight crew, making fun, creative pieces. Like, we would have never thought of doing something like no this. No way! How much for the cat? Let's do it. The child. Uh, sure, take him off my hands. I'm done with him. <laughs> <laughs> take him off my hands. <laughs> so Molly wrote to us saying, Friday you should receive a small package. I thought you would appreciate these and needed a little scum and villainy added to your Star Wars collections. Two are painted to reflect your love of mid-century modern home aesthetic, and two are painted to feel like part of Amanda's armor. Mm. Hope you all enjoy them. I deeply appreciate the content that you produce on YouTube and love Ashley's perspective and advice on handling crowd anxiety. I have not had the fortune to visit Disneyland in 25 years, and as someone with PTSD and crowd anxiety, knowing little tricks makes me hope when I do finally get to go, I was supposed to be there the weekend they shut down due to the pandemic, that there will always be ways to tackle the issues. That means so, so much to me. I know how disheartening it can be to not be able to go to the happiest place on earth because there are so many people. And even with the pandemic now, now it's even scarier yeah. to go and even more nerve wracking. And I want to continue to be the advocate for people who are dealing with anxiety, especially people with PTSD, because that's your girl. Um, I want to do whatever I can to keep giving advice and tips on how to make the experience happy and magical. Um, despite having these sort of disabilities. Thank you, Molly. These are beautiful. And if anything, like slapping one of these on your shirt, like gives you that armor. Yeah. You go like, I got this. I'm gonna have a grand magical time. <laughs> Hopefully this gives us a uh, fast pass for getting on any ride we want to. Bling, bling. Do you know who we are? <laughs> <laughs> That's Star Trek. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's a communicator now. Yeah. <laughs> What's next? What's next? We got What's more boxes. Next? We got more boxes. What's in the box? 
This is from Mark. Ooh, it's like a lunch snack of oh uh, my gosh, creative. Oh my gosh, letter. Okay, dear Ash and Brian of Always Believe, I'm so excited that you guys have a PO box. As a flight crew member with some sewing skills under my belt, I've wanted to send you masks made out of Marvel and Star Wars themed fabrics, but you guys beat the community to it. <laughs> as mentioned, I'm an avid flight crew member by the name of Mark. I'm 52 and I live in northern New Jersey, across from Manhattan. I was born in San Fran, but my family now lives in Southern California like you two. Last December, when I was visiting them, I was lucky enough to have my sister treat me to Disneyland. As I had read and seen so much about Galaxy's Edge, we brought my niece, who is in fourth grade, and it was her first trip to the theme park. So that was amazing to see the world through the eyes of a child. No, really, like bringing a kid to yeah. Disneyland is like a whole other experience. When we took your nephew, it was amazing. Oh my God. <laughs> we finally made it to Batu, and when we finally made our way to the area where the Millennium Falcon resides, I literally cried. I felt like a big baby slash nerd. Mark, if you saw, we were extremely big babies when we first saw that it's Millennium totally Falcon okay. too. It's totally okay. It's okay to be You should have an emotional outburst when you first see that Millennium Falcon. We had a wonderful time in the park, but I kept thinking, what's it all for? And I mean, why create this amazing place if you can't cosplay? Exactly, exactly, exactly. Do you understand, Mark? <laughs> so upon return home, I started to search YouTube for anyone who could explain what Galaxy's Edge was for. What? And I came across your vlog as well as Rex and Around's vlog. Finally, it made sense, and I really loved your passion for Galaxy's Edge, the style guide you put together. All the pieces were falling into place. My husband, who is a social worker for 30 years now, said, Oh boy, first Renaissance clothing, then cosplay. <laughs> Attended my first NYCC last year as Doctor Strange, and now you're obsessed with a place you can't visit regularly. Oh, oh he just laughed, but I charged up for the next visit, now with COVID upon us far someday. Sorry, I tend to ramble. I want it all like you. Yeah. Okay. I wanted to make and send these totes good and sturdy for anything from groceries to laundry to hauling library books. I apologize for the gapping at the top seat. Oh, stop. Of the BBA tote. That's not like me to make amateur technical mistake like that. We wouldn't even notice. Mark. Amateur, Mark. Amateur. You're fine, Mark. <laughs> I hope you enjoy it and use them. My small way of saying thank you for being a wonderful resource for creatives. Mm. Full positivity, inspiration, honesty. Keep the Instagram posts and YouTube vlogs coming and enjoy. Mark, aka this Jedi Crafts on Instagram. Oh my gosh! The tote bag! I didn't know what it was until he said it in the letter. This is amazing. Wow. Oh my gosh, yes. That's oh, so these much are fun. a good size. These are really too. well made. <gasps> Love the red lining in these too. This is awesome. Oh, thank you, these Mark. These are so well made, Mark. Oh. Mark, uh, I have some concerns about this top stitching here, you know. Oh my gosh, get <laughs> over it. No, I don't see anything these wrong. These are amazing. With these it. are perfect. Thank you so much. It's perfect. Oh my gosh, can't wait to go back to Disney and Batu and fill this up with some goodies too. All the Ronto Raps. Put them <laughs> put them in the back. Put them in the back. <laughs> Do it now! Do it now! Thank you. Thank you, Mark. So Jonathan sent us an amazing box filled with just such... Oh my gosh, like, I, I, this is like all this Galaxy's Edge merch and just like lots of different items. A traveler's guy. The Hollywood, Hollywood Park Studios. in Florida. Yeah, these are really cool. These are for your charity. Oh, for our charity. Okay. Thank you, Jonathan also sent in donations for the charities that we've been donating to. This is amazing, Jonathan. Thank you so much. So many stickers. There's so much stuff. <gasps> no. Jonathan, this box is no, crazy. No, look. <laughs> what? Ashley just found her favorite sticker. <gasps> The Mandalorian's on a DeLorean? And there's two of them, actually. <laughs> I love my coffee. This one's oh great. Gosh. I love my coffee solo. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here. Get out of here, Greta. Oh, it's a, it's a magnet? one? Oh my <laughs> gosh, that's so fun. He's got my glasses. So much stuff in this box. This is crazy. Ooh, a Mandalorian. Oh, wow. Where did you find this, Jonathan? Also, why are you giving it to us? Oh my gosh, this is so This is like too generous. This is a Mandalorian coin. That's gonna go on a shelf. Awesome, on the Yay. shelf. Is there more? Yeah, there's like a whole box of it. This is just the top. Jonathan, this box Jonathan, is this Christmas is too for much. us. Well, he said we can give this stuff away too. Oh my know. gosh, look at all these pins. <laughs> This is great. This is a Wampa. Studio Ghibli almost looking Wampa. <laughs> <laughs> Hollywood Studios limited release pins? Yeah. That's from like the opening Galaxy's yes. Edge. Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh, Disney Hollywood World exclusives. Florida. What we love about Disney, living your best life, just having a great time all the time. That is so fun. Oh, it's some fun. What are, are they pieces. magnets? Yeah. Oh my gosh, yes. 
<laughs> pots and pans and all the. Oh, those are adorable. These are fun too. Some Minnie Mouse magnets. Um, I'm overwhelmed looking at this, this box. So We've like barely touched the top surface There's of this so box. Much in this one box. Oh my God. Zelda pins. Yoda lightsaber keychain. Uh, oh, Walt Disney World, 1971. That's when I opened. Oh, Walt Disney World. World. Walt Disney World. One day I'll go to you <laughs> and I'll explore you. Rebel Alliance keychain. This goes to my X Wing. Thank yes, you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> whoop, uh, whoop. Mug. It's a mug, but it's, it's wrapped mug. up. Anything open. that's a mug, I'm like super excited about. <laughs> Keep going, Ashley. <laughs> That was a fun experience. Did you enjoy that? I did enjoy that. Okay, that was good. fun. <gasps> okay, got it. Got it out. That's a big mug. Whoa! Wow, this is a fun Force Awakens mug. This is a huge coffee mug. I will be very awake. It's a really cool piece. Want awesome. Want to awaken your force? <laughs> There's a Zelda sword. Is that paper? It's a letter opener. opener. You could have opener. used this this Zelda evening with opener. all of your packages. <laughs> Literally a bag full of more pins. <gasps> this one looks like Goober. That does look like Goober. Oh my gosh, and what is it? He's He's a little <laughs> shit. Oh, so Goober does this every night. He Making needs biscuits. He makes the biscuits with the blankets and he's got a little shit. <laughs> I love it. Oh my yeah. gosh. There Whoa. are like a hundred pins in here. There's no way we can show them all. This is how we feel in quarantine right now. Like I used to work out and go to the gym all the time and we've just been eating whatever now. <laughs> yeah, just me. You Every too. night. You wanna you wanna you wanna order pizza? <gasps> Love that. More Star Wars More pins? Star Wars pins. This is a, a May the 4th pin, which is again the day that Ashley and I met, the day we got engaged. So that's really, really special. These means a lot. We got two of them. There's a more metallic version of it, which is really cool. <gasps> Stop it. That is so fun. Oh my gosh. Box. It's the poison apple from Snow White. Jonathan, you really pay attention to all the things that we like. You've been watching our That's... vlogs really well. This one's fun. It's an art ninja, which I'm guessing is for <gasps> that's me. That's for you. That's <laughs> guessing for that's you. supposed to be me. Yeah. <laughs> that's super cool. And then we have a fun Aww. set from Loungefly. We have this family of Star Wars pins. Wow, we Jonathan, can make a whole new pin board. I was gonna say, these. we need an entire new pin board a right now. A whole new pin board. <laughs> Dang. And you know what the best part is? That's not it. <laughs> these are for Ashley. They oh! are. I hate this ride so much. <laughs> Small world little passport. Oh my gosh! Packaging. This is awesome. That's perfect. That's so convenient. Like a small world, like a, a passport. Small world. It's I a love small this. World. Jonathan, that box was insane. This was like Comic Con all over. This again. was Comic Con. Hi Ash and Brian. I cannot thank you enough for the inspiration and joy you have brought me to me this year. I was drawn to always believe while preparing for my 35th birthday week at Disney World and my first visit to Galaxy's Edge. After watching several of your videos, I was excited and I put balance together for each park and twice for Batu. I even made custom bandanas for my friends to join the fun. Your guidance and joy from your videos is infectious. The reminders to have fun, play, and enjoy your passions has motivated me to create more and to especially share what I create. This box of thanks is full of some of my handmade variations. The Batu bandana that can be used as a mask, head tie, or anything else you see fit. The reflective design is sure to catch light in any setting, but especially around lightsabers. Oh. <laughs> The origami was all made by me, the mother of Crane's folder of the fearless flock, the Orizuru Guru, percher of paper, and Khaleesi of kindness. I know I sent a lot, so please feel free to share any extras with others. So thank you again for encouraging play and fun, sharing your passions. I look forward to the next post vlog and adventure. I will continue to always believe. Thank you. You know Vera. what? Like, I'm always like attracted to this Vera person because like my great aunt Vera is like it's a very rare name and my great aunt Vera was like one of the best people in the world. Yeah. And I, I was like, oh, someone named Vera. Every person, like I've only <laughs> met like three other people, two or three other people that are named Vera, and they're always the best people. Gosh, I can see there's some crazy cool stuff in Whoa. here. Really fun creative pieces. Okay. There's a crane. There's another crane. Oh that's my gosh, that's are, so clever. Is that Yoda? <laughs> A little Yoda. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Vera. Oh my gosh, she made a whole bunch of these. Wow. It's a whole There's bag a whole of butterflies. Bag of origami. Okay, I've never done origami. There's another little crane on too. Oh, that's Whoops, what she's saying. No. You put those around. I fixed it. Everything can be fixed. Bandanas. Bandanas. Bandana. Open those? Bandana. 
Okay. Banana. So now we can match uh, Goober, who's yeah. been. He feels like he's the king of the castle this he's evening been because he has his bandana the... on. Basically okay, cool. so we've been seeing her bandanas and been like, okay, those look really awesome. It says Bound for Batu on the bottom, and then the other side it has our names. Like this says Brian. Remember to always believe and have fun. On top of writing our names and doing all this crazy fun pattern on it, it says remember to always believe and have fun. That is amazing. That is so much our message. Now we get to share it and wear it, literally. Bound for Batu on there. These are awesome. I'm sorry, but like, <laughs> always believe masks. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys like feel like gunslingers now with like your masks on? I feel like Axl Rose lately when I've been wearing my headbands in my hair. Welcome to Always Believe. We got fun and games. We got all the play you want, and you know our names. It is Ashley and Brian. From Always Believe. Mr. Goober, he's got one too. Where did he go? Where did he go? Oh no. Oh, we can also be... Go go milk the cows. <laughs> it's time to milk the cows. We miss Disney so much. We can't wait to go back. <laughs> Thank you very, very much for our bandanas. We need to... Can you send us instructions on how to wear them properly, though? <laughs> <laughs> He looks so cute. Well, thank you very much. This is another way that I can keep my hair on my face. Wasn't this like a 1950s thing women would wear their yeah, hair kind of pulled go, back? Yeah, we can go in the, the Corvette. Corvette? Ooh, yeah, when we go ride in our uh, 1950s Corvette with the top yeah. down, our yeah. hair will I mean, away. I don't want my hair to get messed up in the in, no, the, in our, you don't um, want to. In our convertible I'm going to double layer it, too, and put on the Kylo Ren hood just to be extra yeah. sure. I mean, this is important. Yeah, I got to look cool. I, yep. mean. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I got to look cool. <laughs> These are amazing. Actually, I'm excited to wear it. This. Yeah. Okay, wear it properly. Is this is this cool? Am I cool? Now? I think you're cool now. Finger guns, everybody! <laughs> pew 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 pew. pew. <laughs> I can All also right. use it for a bib for dinner. You need oh. another bandana for that freaking hair, man. Yeah, I do. Well, that was one amazing unboxing of things from our flight crew. That like, was so fun. We're so happy. We had so much fun. You guys made our Comic Con at home even more enjoyable. Yeah. So. yeah. This was way better. This yeah. is actually way better. This is so much fun. Thank you for joining us today, Flight Crew. Thank you for being a part of the Flight Crew. And thank you for being so creative and sharing your passions with us and sharing with the rest of the Flight Crew. So, till next time, always believe, everybody.